ഹലോ യാഹിയ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് സർ ഓക്കെ സോ ആക്ച്വലി യുവർ ഫയൽസ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഡ്രൈവ് യു ഹാവ് അപ്ലോഡഡ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഹൈ അപ്ലോഡിംഗ് ബൈ നോ അപ്ലോഡിംഗ് ടുഡേ യു വിൽ അപ്ലോഡ് Yes, sir, I'll try. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, so this problem was a homework, right? any doubt any doubt in this problem no sir okay so this problem is actually a pentagonal pyramid okay lying on its base on hp so this is base so base means the pentagon so this is my base okay so this is base base lying on its base on hp with uh, one of its 45 mm long base edge at the rear parallel to vp rear rear means this back side so this is my rear rear at base edge base edge at rear okay Par so this edge is parallel to vp this edge is parallel to vp and the side length is 45 mm 45 mm <laughs> then it is cut by a section plane inclined at 60 degree to hp and bisect the axis so bisect the axis means mark the midpoint so the height of the pyramid is uh, what is yeah the height of the pyramid is 80 mm okay and then mark a point at a distance of 40 mm from the base then draw the cutting plane like this okay and this inclination is this inclination is uh, 60 degree 60 degree inclination okay so the top view what is the top view top view is actually a uh, pentagon such that one side is parallel to xy line why why one side is parallel to xy line because here uh, here one condition the condition is that the long base edge at the rear parallel to vp so this is the rear edge rear edge parallel to vp so this this side is parallel to xy line so draw the pentagon like this draw the pentagon like this then draw the slant edges draw the slant edges then project it you will get the front view what is the height of the object height of the object is 80 mm then mark the center point of the axis and then draw a line this represents the our cutting plane this line represents our cutting plane then mark the cutting points then transfer all these cutting points to the top view so you will get the sectional top view so this is my sectional top view very simple okay okay then the so this was actually homework then the second problem i think this also homework right this one yes sir okay so this is actually a cone uh, of 60 mm diameter so here the diameter is 60 diameter means the base so this is my base so this is my base so base diameter is 60 mm base diameter is 60 mm and length height height is 80 mm height 80 mm is resting on its circular face on hp circular circular face means that base okay so base on hp okay 
It is cut by a section plane inclined at a 60 degree to HP and meet the axis at a point 30 mm below its apex. Okay. So what is the meaning of that 30 mm below its apex? Um, it's uh, 30 millimeters below the top. Yeah, 30 millimeter below the top, right? Okay, so, so this is my apex, so this point. So this is my apex point, okay? So mark a point or the axis such that apex to that point distance is 30 mm. So 30 mm below apex, that means mark a point 30 mm below the apex. Then through that point, draw a line, okay? So this represents our cutting plane. This represents our cutting plane and the cutting plane inclination is 60 degree, okay? Then mark the cutting points and then transfer all these cutting points. You will get the section and this is called a sectional top view. So this is called a sectional top, okay? <laughs> okay so these three problems again uh, today's homework okay so read the first question please yeah here um a front view of a regular hexagonal pyramid is cut centrally by section plane AA. Complete the top view and draw the section figure. Okay. So here the uh, this is the front view. Okay. So the front view of a regular hexagonal pyramid uh, is cut by uh, cut centrally by a section plane. So this is my section plane. Okay. So this is my section plane. Complete the top view and draw the section. You have to mark the section points and <coughs> uh, mark the section points and draw the section. Okay. So this is again a homework. Okay. Then this read the second question. A top view and an incoming front view of a square prism are shown in figure 5.25. The prism is cut by a 45 degree inclined section plane at a distance of 40 millimeter, 20 millimeters from one of the corners. Draw the given front view and complete the top view and add the section. Okay. So here, here this is my top view and uh, this is my front view and the cutting plane inclination is 45 degree. And one more condition is there. What was that? What was that condition? Cutting plane. It's 20 millimeters from a corner. Corner. Corner means this point, right? So this is my corner. This is my corner. And this distance is 20 mm. Okay. Corner distance is 20 mm. So <laughs> this inclination is, this cutting plane inclination is 45 degree and the cutting plane is at a distance of 20 mm one of the corners. So you have to draw the top view, front view and the section, okay? Mark the cutting points and transfer uh, the cutting points to the uh, top view, you will get the section. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, tell me here, uh, here how many cutting points? This one, second problem, B. Uh, Wait, wait. I first I, wait. I first I will name this A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, E, S. So this is A dash, P dash. This is B dash, D dash. This is Q dash, S dash. This is C dash R dash. Ah, yes, yeah, here. Yeah. Tell me how many cutting points. So here, here, uh, wait, I will, I will dark here. So here, here, how many cutting points here? Two. Two, okay. 
so uh, uh, can you tell uh, that adjust also adjust um a b and a d okay a b and a e d a, a b and a d a b is in the front side right yes sir and a d is in the back side okay okay two points okay here this one Um, it's cutting BD. Hmm? I mean, it's cutting BQ and DS. Yes, BQ and DS. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so BQ and DS means longer edge, right? Longer edge, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what about A, B and A, D? Long edge or longer edge or base edge? Base or edge. The, hmm? base edge. Base edge. Base edge. Base or uh, the uh, end face edge. Right. Okay. <laughs> so B, Q and D, S. Okay. So which which longer edge is, is the is the front, front side longer edge? <laughs> um... B, Q, right? Yeah. BQ front, DS back. So this is very important. Okay. Okay. Then here, here, how many cutting points here? Um, one. One. Okay. That is CR. Okay. So that is in the front side. Okay. Front. Okay. Then I will name, I will name the cutting points. So front side point. So AB front one, then BQ front two, then uh, CR front three. So these are the first three cutting points. So I will, I will mark here one dash, two dash, three dash, one dash, two dash, three dash. Okay. Then from that point, you have to mark the, uh, uh, hidden uh, backside cutting points. So here there is no backside cutting points. So here there is one backside. So that means you have to mark four dash here. Here there is another uh, one, another one backside cutting point. So I will mark five dash. Okay. So DS four and AD five. So this is the order. See one, one, five, two, four, three. So this is the order. So this is very, very important. Okay. Then project project all these points to the uh, to the uh, top view. You will get the sectional top view. Okay. Then the last third question. Okay, read read the third question. <clears throat> A pentagonal prism of length sixty mm is shown resting on HP. Okay. Cut by section plane CC parallel to HP at a distance of ten millimeters from the top most long edge. Hmm. How the given front view and add the sectional top view. Okay. So here, here, where is the cutting plane? Here. Third problem, where is the cutting plane? It's um parallel to HP. Yes, parallel to HP. Okay. And and um perpendicular to VP? Mm, no, no. There is a, one condition in the question. One, one, uh, one, uh, one dimension is given. Distance. Distance of the cutting plane. It's 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters from the top edge. Okay. So topmost, topmost long edge. Topmost long edge means this one. Okay. So this is the topmost long edge. Topmost long edge. So this, this, so this distance is 10. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, then here, here, yes. Tell me here, how many cutting points? Um, where? This one. Third question. Four. Okay. So here, here, how many? Here, this point.
Uh, two. Here, two. Okay, here. Two. Two. Okay, so total how many cutting points? Four, right? Okay, clear cutting points. <clears throat> okay, so this is homework. Okay, so this is homework. Okay, I will take one photograph and share. Wait. Okay, so next is the next problem. I think we have completed this one, right? Sphere, this problem, just check in your notebook. Yes, sir. Okay. This one? No, I think no. Square plus one. No. Okay. Okay. So write, write this question. Square prism of side 30 mm, okay, side, square prism side 30 mm and uh, length of axis 80 mm, length of axis means height, height 80 mm is resting on its base on HP such that all the vertical faces are equally inclined to VP, vertical faces, vertical faces equally inclined to VP. Then here the section plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. And 10 millimeter away from the axis cuts the prism. Draw the top view and sectional front view. <clears throat> okay. Finished? Mm, sir. Okay. Then. Okay, then. Okay, then. So here. Yes, tell me here. Here, what are the conditions? Here, what are the conditions? Uh, it's um, on HP. Okay, so the square prism uh, resting on its base on HP. So base means this is my base. So this is my base. Okay, so base on HP. Then uh all its vertical faces are equally inclined to vp okay what is mean by vertical face vertical the rectangular face the rectangular face right okay so vertical face means these are the vertical faces right vertical face 
okay and this vertical face these vertical faces are equally inclined to vp equally inclined to vp means the inclination is 45 degree right this this inclination is 45 degree this this side inclination is 45 degree okay so when you draw the draw the top view draw the top view so the draw a square draw a square so this inclination is how much this inclination how much um 45 45 degree okay so take this angle 45 degree this angle 45 degree okay draw the square <clears throat> Draw the top view. Here the top view is square. Okay, so top view completed? Yes, sir. Okay, then project the uh, top view. Here, here, what is the front view? What is the shape of the front view? Rectangle. Rectangle, okay. So draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle of height. Here, what is the height? 80. 80 mm. Okay. So, draw a rectangle of height 80 mm.
Okay, front view finished. Yes, sir. Okay, so here, <clears throat> yes, here, here, where is the where is the cutting plate? It's um parallel to VP communicate to HP and then ten millimeters in front of the axis. Okay, so so cut here the cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane, and the cutting plane is parallel to VP. Cutting plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Cutting plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP, and it is at a distance of ten millimeter away from the axis. Okay. So 10 millimeter away from the axis. So I will draw the cutting plane. Okay, so this is my axis, right? This center, this is my axis line. This is my axis line. This is my axis line and take this distance, take this distance as 10 millimeter, right? Yeah, yeah, this distance is 10, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so this distance 10 mm and then draw the cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane. This is my cutting plane. <laughs> yes, yeah, here tell me here how many cutting points, section points, how many cutting points or section points? Four. Four, okay. So here, here how many here? Uh, two. Two. And, and two. here, yeah, here two. Tell me the uh, name of the edges, please. Um, a, B, and A1, B1. Yes. So A, B, and A1, B1, right. Okay. So A, B is, uh, a, a, B is the uh, top, top base edge, and A1, B1 is the bottom. Okay, so that means AB is the visible edge, A1B1 is the invisible, okay, or hidden. Then this side, name of this, this side edges, yes, tell me. This side, right side. B, C, and B, yeah. B, C, and B, 1, C, 1, correct, okay, B, C, and B, 1, C, 1, so B, C is the top edge, B, 1, C, 1 is the bottom, yes, so I will name, very important, this is very, very important, so the A, B, point number one, A, B, cutting point number one, Then next is next is BC. That means that is the that is the next visible visible cutting point. Okay. Then two. Then here three. Then four. So this is the order. So this is very important. Okay. But in in this drawing uh, they are not applying like this. Okay. So. You have to use my uh, concept. Okay, so this is one, two, three, and four. So I will name like this. So this is one, here two, then three and four. So one comma four here, two comma three. Then project these points to the front view. So AB, you will get one, one dash on AB. So here AB is here, so one dash. Okay, so you will get four dash here and uh, two dash here and three dash okay 
then very simple join one two okay one two then two three three four four one okay very very simple so this is my section okay so this is my section Okay, so this is called a sectional. Okay, please write sectional front view. Okay, so this is not simply front view. This is called a, because in front view you can see a section. So that's why this is called a sectional front view. So this is sectional front view and this is plan, plan or top view. Okay, finished. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, so this is actually very simple, but at the same time, very difficult. So this is a homework, okay? Again, this is a homework, very, very easy, easy problem, con, yes, yes. Tell me here, what are the conditions? Yeah, here. Yeah. Um, the cone has a base diameter of 40. Okay, so... On HP. Okay, wait one minute. So, this is my base. Okay. So, what is the diameter of the base? Diameter of the um, base? 40 mm, right? Here the dimension is 40 mm, right? Yes, sir. Okay, then. What about the height? What about the height of the object? 50. Okay. Then any conditions? Um... Any condition? The section plane is... No, no, no. Before, 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 before that. Any conditions? Mm, no. Axis perpendicular to HP. Axis. Okay. So what is axis perpendicular to HP means? Uh, the makes right angle. So yeah. Yeah, makes right angle. That means this angle is 90 degree, right angle to HP. Okay. Yes, tell me, cutting plane, where is the cutting plane? Um, it's perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Yes, perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So, so this is my cutting plane. Okay. Okay, so here the cutting plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp okay so here you can see this cutting plane and vp are parallel and this cutting plane and hp inclined 90 degree sorry not inclined perpendicular to hp 90 degree to hp okay and any distance um it's uh, 10 millimeters from the front. From the front. Okay. That means this is the front, right? Okay. So this, this is my front, front point, right? Front. So from this front, the cutting plane is at a distance of. So this is my cutting plane. So this is my cutting plane. And this cutting plane is at a distance of 10 mm. So this distance is 10. Okay, yeah, yeah, clear. Cutting plane, location of the cutting plane. Yes, sir. Okay. So please uh, upload all uh, the all your drawings in, in that uh, Google Drive I have shared. Okay, so please upload. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Thank you.